Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing a live build. Um, today we have three Ninjago poly bags. Two of them are from the Lego Ninjago movie. So, those are cool. And then we just have this other random Ninjago poly bag that I happened to see at Walmart, so I picked it up. So uh, I'm going to wait on a few people to jump in the chat before we really get into this because I'm sure everyone is just now getting their notifications. So um, let me know where you guys are watching from. I know when uh, when this video goes, goes up after the stream, I guess you could type it in the chat. So we have a few people already joining in, so I appreciate you guys being loyal fans and jumping in on this live chat We've got someone from the uk so let's see here i'm gonna move this camera down these are small sets so i don't have to be zoomed out super far all right so which one should we do first i'll take a vote we have the looks like some sort of uno wheel type thing sure what this is I mean the movie hasn't came out yet so we don't know what this is so do you want to see that one built first we have the mini Zane's ice tank thing and then we have our looks like our little training thing it's funny you have Zane and Nia fighting Wu. That's kind of weird. So, uh, what's up, Edgar Reyes, Neo651, Yobani Mart, Ismael Gomez. Thanks for joining. Lego Boy. Lego Boy wants to know if I could do the Doctor Who TARDIS. I don't know if I can find that set anymore. I don't have it, I don't really want it. I'm not a Doctor Who fan. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that set or not. All right, so we have one vote for the ice tank. We have one vote for the Uniwheel. We need someone to break the tie. Unless you vote for this one, and then it's a three-way tie. So which one are we gonna build first? What's up, Mad Dog? DJ's Corner, what's up? All right, we got another vote for Ice Tank. All right, so we got two for Ice Tank. Remember, this is just the first one I'm going to build. I'm going to build all three. So it looks like, oh, two for Uniwheel. We got a tie again. No, three for Uniwheel. We have a, a leader now. All right. Any more votes? Looks like, uh, all right. You know wheel it is. I think this is probably one of the smaller of, of the three poly bags anyway. Well, I say that and there's a ton of these small studs. And I really, these are my favorite studs. The ones with a hole in the top. So that's cool. We get a lot of those. Our instructions is a single instruction sheet printed front and back. So it should go pretty quick. So we have a single plate that we're going to start with. One of these studs with the hole on top. Of course, my camera is going to struggle to focus all day. So. <laughs> Lego boy says dump out all the bags and do a build that way um I probably could it's not like there's a lot of parts it would be different if it was an enormous set or three or four big sets that would get a little more challenging I think what I'm gonna do is just do one at a time. 
right, so we have that bar through there. <laughs> so as I'm building, I'm going to be reading the chat, so feel free to ask me questions or chat amongst yourself. I really want this to be a, a conversation stream. Mad Dog asks if I have told people your name, Hidden Brick. Like, if, have I told people that I... Oh, like my real name? I'm, I'm confused by the question. Have I told people that I that I am the Hidden Brick? Like, if I meet someone in public and be like, hey, you know me? That's right. I'm the Hidden Brick. And then they'll look at me like, who? What are you talking about? Get out of here. What's my name? My name's The Hidden Brick. Are you kidding me? We just had this conversation. I ran into someone at um, Brick Universe, Oklahoma, or uh, where I was at. I was in Tulsa. I was in Tulsa last weekend for a brick con. It was called Brick Universe. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. Great show to attend. Um, but anyway, I had a bunch of my stuff displayed, my mocks. And I was talking to someone there. And they said that, uh, they said, do you have a YouTube channel? Because your voice sounds familiar. I said, as a matter of fact, I, I do. And he's like, okay, good. I, I, I thought I, I recognized your voice, but he didn't really like go any further. Like he didn't ask me what my YouTube channel was or anything. So the, the conversation was more about the, the, the mocks that I had there and less about YouTube. But I have had people recognize me in, uh, other conventions that I've been to it's it's kind of rare I mean like the whole weekend maybe one or two people but if it's a Lego related convention then I'm sure there's gonna be more and more people that will eventually recognize me a Lego boy says my birthday is soon any recommendations for Lego sets well, I would recommend I would recommend Ninjago. Those are always good. I mean, we're doing a Lego stream on Nin Ninjago right now. Um, I'm a fan of the Nexo Knights. I think they have a great assortment of sets that have great parts, and um, and the build techniques are pretty good too. So if you're you're into um, fun builds then Nexo Knights are good and they're they range in various prices from you know smaller sets to larger sets so if you're asking for gifts then that's a great theme to get a good range of sets um, and then after that I mean Technic is always fun or um, other stuff I don't I don't I don't really know it's really ask what you what do you like and then just ask for that I mean I just said what I like and that's what I would ask for neo 653 asks if I have a brother I actually have two brothers I have an older brother and a younger brother but they're not really into Lego like I am my older brother is but he has younger kids so you can't really do too much Lego. DJ's Corner asks if I've revealed my real name. Um, only at, at Lego conventions. I wear a name badge that has my lug association and then I usually have my my YouTube channel stuff on, on badges. That's really, I mean, I think on my other channel I've revealed it a few times, but not, I don't really, 
No, I really don't. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think it's relevant to the, the purpose of the channel. Um, what's up, President Saad? Thanks for joining. Lego Mates asks, how long have I liked Lego? Well, it's kind of a loaded question because obviously as a kid, I liked Lego for the longest time until I went into what's called a dark age. And then when I got older and started having kids and buying Lego for them, it kind of rekindled my my fire for Lego and I got back into it. So, you know, to answer your question, as a kid, always I liked Lego until I was probably like teenager age. And then as an adult, it's been about close to seven years now that I've been, maybe, maybe six, six or seven years that I've been back into the Lego hobby. And I lucked out because I feel that when I was in my dark ages, it was probably the worst time for Lego as far as their quality of their sets. I feel that um, when I got back back into Lego is when Lego was actually getting good again. DJ's Corner says, do I still run string cheese and applesauce? I actually do. I just haven't been doing a lot of posting on that channel. Um, I've been really focusing my attention to this channel more. And I'm, I'm brainstorming what I want to do with that channel. It's still going to be kind of Lego related, but um, I have some different ideas. I still have my Lego City. If you look me up on Instagram, there's a link down below in the description for my Instagram. Um, I post all of my mock pictures on that uh social media platform so check that out if you want to see my um lego city or any other just assorted lego stuff that i either are working on or have going on in my life it's it's a real it's it's a fun platform for me to share various things in lego without actually having to post a lot of videos. So, check it out. So, do I have the Lego Ninjago Destiny's Bounty yet? And if so, can you go soon? Okay, so, I haven't been buying a lot of sets lately because, um, well, a couple reasons. Lego is expensive. And I spent a lot over the summer on Lego, so I'm kind of holding back a little bit. I do plan on getting the Destiny's Bounty when the Lego store is running double VIP points, and that is, I think, beginning October 10th, so that's about three weeks away. So I'm, I'm going to be building a lot of stuff on this channel, um, stuff that I already have in my collection which I have a ton, I have plenty of stuff to build, but I don't want to, I want to get the most for my money, which I'm sure everyone really does. So I'm holding off on buying any new sets for a while, including the uh, Millennium Falcon. I mean, that that's going to be in production for a very long time. It's not like it's a, a limited edition type thing. Lego wants to get as much money out of people as they can, so they're going to keep that on the shelf for at least 18 months, probably closer to 
36 months before they discontinued that one again. So I'm not really buying anything here recently. But the first thing I do have on my list is that um, Destiny's Bounty. So there is our little uni wheel thing that's struggling to focus. Focus. Why won't you focus? So I'm, I'm sure this relates to the movie somehow, so we'll have to figure it out. So these arms are actually very fragile. There's one little ball joint that's kind of holding on. There's one clip and one ball joint that's holding it on. And it's really not that sturdy. But anyway, that's that. Um, we do have some extra pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the small stuff. With two of them being the hollow studs. There's a gold bucket handle if you're into that but whatever all right so before we move on to the next one i guess we take a vote we gotta we need a vote we have these two sets we have the little uh spinjitsu dojo training type poly bag and then we have the ice tank so let me see your votes real quick Ryan, i'll catch up on the chat while you guys are voting Or is it so it doesn't have Instagram? You should get Instagram. If anybody doesn't have Instagram, you should get it. There's a ton of great uh, people that post Lego related stuff, so check it all out. Um, Lego Boy asks what the biggest set that I have ever built. It's a good question. I think it has to be a Technic set. Um, I can't remember exactly which one because I have quite a few big ones, but. Obviously nothing compared to the Millennium Falcon because that is the biggest set. <laughs> Trickstein Trick asks if I've ever created a wearable wear, wearable mock Lego build. I actually did when I was in Brick Fiesta. They have this free build area. And um, I was with some friends and I built a, a giant like Mr. T type chain that goes around the neck and i wore it and one of my friend's daughter wore it as well it, it was it was just a quick little fun build it wasn't anything like crazy crazy wearable but anyway if you could have your own lego set what would it be i'm not sure what dj's corner is asking but um I guess if I could create a set. Brushy eight. Thanks. I haven't seen that name. New new to the chat, but it looks like uh Brushy says they've been watching my video for a long time, so I appreciate that. I always enjoy longtime fans able to jump in a live chat like this and actually, you know, I can interact with people. It's hard to interact with you know posting comments and replying to comments but having the live interaction like this is cool neo651 says do i have a day job well of course i do how, how else am i going to be able to buy lego all right so let's get into our votes we have a vote for ice tank ice tank ice tank dojo ice tank ice tank ice tank. Ah, it's a run it's a landslide the ice tank set is what we're going to build next lego mates i like watching lego ninjago sets but i don't buy them as i only like minifigure scale models speaking of which which do you prefer well obviously these poly bags are not minifigure scale but pretty much every other ninjago set is minifigure uh, minifigure scale All right, so this poly bag has a poly bag inside the poly bag. So I guess they put all the bigger parts in the main poly bag and 
give you this little poly bag of smaller parts. Of course, it's a unlabeled, undecorated poly bag. Oh, this is cool, a clear tile. And the instruction sheet is just like the other poly bag, just a single sheet. All right. DJ's Corner is I guess, trying to clarify if if I could create a set, what would it be? Um, I would I would I would suggest the Western theme. Lego had a Western theme years ago. It was during my dark ages, so I never was able to buy any of those sets. But I liked the look of some of the um, Lone Ranger sets, which are Western themed. So I would love to see a Western theme of Lego. It's, it's more than just one set. I would like to see a whole series of them. Similar to how you have, you know, a bunch of Ninjago sets. I would like a bunch of Western themed sets. So, I know it really doesn't answer your question, but that's my answer. All right, so quickly building this ice tank. I think the bulk of the ice tank is going to be those tank treads, which are the little mini Technic uh, chain links. So here's the little micro ice canister. A couple of these little pieces. Uh, Lego Boy says, do you have any unbuilt Lego sets? I have a ton of unbuilt. I have a whole closet full of them. And I'm talking a whole closet full of not duplicate sets. So I have plenty of sets to build. Can you do more Star Wars sets? I do believe I have a few Star Wars sets. I have a big one. I have the UCS, um, what do you call it, the Ewok Village. That's a big Star Wars set. And then I think I have a Pod Racer set from a long time ago. Oh, I recently acquired the, the new Star Wars Desert Skiff set. I won that at the last convention that I was at. I won it in a raffle. Actually, I didn't win it in the raffle. Um, there was someone there that uh, won it, and then I won a large Star Wars um, Force Awakens set. It was the uh, that white. I think it's called the A A Wing. I maybe think I maybe describing it wrong but it was the big white ship um, from the force awakens but anyway the, the guy that won the desert skiff um, was eyeing my a-wing set that I that I got and it was about that sets about three or four times bigger than um, the desert skiff and I was like hey do you want to trade because I already have the a-wing set and I didn't have the new Desert Skiff one. And he's like, his eyes lit up and he's like, yeah, like like straight up even trade. I was like, yeah. I was like, I don't, I want your set and you obviously want mine. So he, I think he got the better end out of that deal, but it was, um, I feel happy because I got a set that I didn't have yet. So that's a cool Star Wars set. Now it's a remake. I, I have the one they came out with like four years ago. I built it a long time ago, I think before I had YouTube channels. Um, but the the new one actually, I mean, looking at the picture on the box, the, the new one doesn't even, in my opinion, look as good as the, the one from four years ago. But we'll see when we bust it open and build it. And you'll see it here, obviously, 
I'll probably do a pre-recorded video on that and you'll see that set. Let's see. Reading the comments here. I know you don't like stickers much, but have you ever gotten a set that stickers were not in the box? Um, no, not that I can recall. I think every set that I've I've received, I've I've never received a set that is missed, missing a piece or missing any stickers. I have received a set that I had duplicate sticker sheets. I think I got three sticker sheets in one set at one point. Um, I forget which set it was, but I do remember getting a bunch of those. Let's see. Let me catch up on some of these comments. Matthew says, yeah, boy, live stream. Thanks for joining today, Matthew. How many views now? How many views on my channel? I don't know. It's in the millions. I don't really look at that much. Are there 14 million people watching this already? Like watching this stream? That would be awesome. DJ's Corner asks, do I play any games, mobile or otherwise? I do play mostly uh, mobile games, just kind of time killer games, nothing really like serious. You know, it's stuff like I have a I have Real Racing 3, I have some um, like just casino slot type games and you know, the little puzzle games. Um, on the PC, I do play Minecraft occasionally. I do like that game. And PlayStation 3, the really only game I play on that, it, and I haven't played it in a while, is the Uncharted series. So I've played all four Uncharted games. I've beaten them all. That's really it as far as gaming. Alright, so we got our tank treads. Let's slide these on here. Sometimes these can be a little tricky to get on. And these are the, the chain link treads, so they're even a little more trickier because they're so small. Matthew asks if I build mocks in my spare time. My spare time is hard to find lately, but yes, I usually try to, to build stuff. So I, I'm part of a, a LUG, it's called a Lego user group, LUG for short. Um, and they have build competitions every month. And in those competitions, you have to you have to do a, a mock. So I don't participate in all of them each month, but usually I try to participate in every other one just to you know really just kind of hone your skills and you know learn fun and new things because. Some of their challenges are stuff that I wouldn't have necessarily thought of to build. So it's fun to do stuff kind of out of the box. You should do another Lego train. Yeah, I do want to do a, a train, but more of like a more of like a steampunk type train or like a, a Mad Max type train not your standard traditional train you see on the tracks more of a fantasy style train <laughs> Gabriel David I guess wants a shout out what's up Gabriel David um Freshy8 says you should try to build a Gundam it's kind of like Lego but more pieces I've heard of Gundam. It's kind of like a model kit. I don't know. Lego is so time consuming that 
it's it's hard for me to commit to trying to do something different. All right, so we are almost done with this ice tank. Clear tile, and we have our slotted slopes. That goes there. Is that it? Sort of. I forgot these two pieces. All right, so there it is. There's the ice tank. Now this is one of the few Lego Ninjago movie sets, the full size set that I don't have yet. I'm missing about four or five of them. I don't have the I don't have the jet, I don't have the boat, I don't have the this one, and I don't have the Ninjago City, and I don't have um, the fire mech. So those are the five that I'm missing. So once I have the big one, I'll I'll grab this little one and put it right next to it so we can compare how it looks proportions. From the pictures I've seen of the, the big ice tank, this looks pretty good. All right, so now it's vote time. Everyone needs to vote. This is our last set, so you need to vote on if you want to see this built or not. I'll catch up on the chat. Do more technic. I do have a lot of technic I need to do. Um, what's the worst Lego Ninjago set you have done? Well, I haven't. Everything I built is awesome, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. There's a. It's hard because all of the Ninjago stuff to me is pretty good. I don't know. I would have to go down a list of all the sets that I have and figure out that one. It's hard for me to answer that one. Yeah, I'm not into old. So Lego Mates asks, I would say get the Lego Emerald Knight, but you'd be lucky to find it. I'm not one that likes to shop for old discontinued sets. It's like if, if I missed it, I missed it. I'm not going to pay a high overcharged price for a set that I really won't get a lot of value out of. So I'm not into the to, into the old, old discontinued sets. Um. All right, so let's get back into the building. Take a little drink real quick. Uh, when I do my pre-recorded videos, when I open a new bag, that's kind of usually when I take a break from the building and I um, drink some water or something just to kind of wet my throat a little bit because I'm talking a lot during the videos. So obviously live, you have to deal with that break as I take a drink. All right, this is a small set. So this isn't related to the, the Ninja, Ninjago movie. It's just a, a Ninjago set. Whereas these, you can see the printing is different. It actually says Ninjago movie. So this is a classic Ninjago right here. We have a little micro instruction sheet. This instruction sheet's about half the size of the previous two sets that we've built. So we have a couple minifigures. They're very simple minifigures. So Nia has a little silver sword and then we have Zane, he has, I like the kind of silver mohawk hairpiece. He's just holding onto a stick, because that's what ninjas do. They just need a stick. So with the minifigures done, we're gonna jump right into this build. Start with some plates. And we have some tiles. With 
another plate. All right, so we have these little red skeleton legs. The skeleton legs have a clip on the top. And these are good for, for railing type pieces, not necessarily the red, but I've used the black ones for railings on some of my mocks where it's the post type piece. And then you have your horizontal rail. And in this case, they're using this black bar. They have two red loud hailers. Look up there. <laughs> Lego Mate says, says, this will take 10 seconds. It is going to be a quick little build. Uh, pretty much all poly bags are, are very, very quick builds. They're kind of just like filler stuff or impulse buys at, by the registers. So yeah, they don't they don't take long at all. I did a speed build at Brick Universe last week, and they the speed build was this tiny little creator box. It was a box, but it was only like ninety pieces in it. So it was about the size of a poly bag. And the, the, the challenge was to build it. Someone would check to make sure that you built it correctly. And then you had to completely disassemble it. And whoever did that first one. Guess who won? So... Um, Wait a minute, what's going on here? Okay. But anyway, that little box challenge thing, it was from when I assembled it, checked it, and disassembled it, and won, it was probably a total of maybe eight minutes. Maybe. It was eight minutes. I feel it was probably closer to six minutes. It was so fast. There it is. We're done. Easy. So we have this little, little training mechanism. You can see it. It spins. So you can spin it and then have one of your ninjas come up here and fight it. That's the extent of the, the poly bag. And we have a, another good amount of extra pieces here. Once again, kind of one of each small piece. So total of the three poly bags. Got your ice tank here, you got your little uniwheel there. Um, we have a, a decent amount of extra pieces. All small stuff standard small pieces okay so that's it for this one i'm going to catch up on the chat real quick and then we're going to call it a night let's see ahmed abel fada i don't i don't know how to say your last name um says my favorite theme is technic well we have something in common ahmed because that's my favorite theme as well Matthew likes creator. Creator's a good theme too, especially if you like um, a bunch of great parts to do mocks with. Trixton says, I wonder how effective Lego armor would be in a real sword fight. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not gonna last very long. Why does this have more seconds? Not sure what you're saying, Gabriel. <laughs> All right, so um, like I said, I'm done with this one for today. I'm gonna be recording some more videos to post all weekend. So um, yeah, make sure you're uh, tuned in and um, subscribed and check everything out. And then I'll try to do some live streaming. Um, I'll probably live stream maybe this 
Saturday afternoon and maybe Sunday afternoon as well. So if you guys are around this weekend, make sure to tune into those live streams and we will see you in those. So thanks again, all my biggest fans. I appreciate you guys Whoops, joining me for these little impromptu live streams. And uh, we will see you in the next one.